Cyberken to help you become web savvy. Hello and welcome to Cyberken. This post gives you a quick tour of Google Mail. It's better known as Gmail, and like many Google products, it's free and really handy. Gmail is a web-based email service. That means that it runs not on your own personal computer, but rather on Google's server computer. When you go to your Gmail inbox, like mine shown here, all the messages that you see on your screen are stored on Google's computer, not your own. All your email addresses are also on the Google computer, so that if your personal computer should bite the dust, you won't lose any messages or email addresses. They'll all be there waiting for you on Google server when you get your computer repaired and reconnect. So let's take a tour now and see just how you do connect to Gmail. To go to your own Gmail inbox, you would go to mail.google.com sign in with your username and password and that would bring you into your inbox which would look somewhat like mine with different messages of course these are my messages on the left the ones that i haven't read yet are still in bold print and i can star them if i think they're important and return later to them this way or unstar them this way you can check them which allows you then to apply any of the actions uh, that you see under these um, drop-down menus, or to delete them, or report them as spam, uh, or affix a label to them. There are labels in Gmail, but not, uh, not folders. In another post, I will explain the difference between those two things, labels and folders. But one of the nice features of Gmail is that you do not need to categorize mail that's coming in, uh, putting it in folders and trying to remember which folder you put it in, but rather you use search strings to find something way down in the email stack. For instance, here's the search blank, and I will put in here Newcastle, and click on search, and then quickly, very quickly, um, the Gmail search engine will bring up in my own uh, email um, archive all of those messages that bear this search string Newcastle. It's a very, very handy way of quickly finding uh, messages that you have long ago put aside and forgotten about. It's a wonderful, wonderful feature. In addition uh, to that search feature, there are also uh, other Google um, uh, offerings available by the links up here at the top of your inbox. There's a Google Calendar which can sync with your um, phones or your PDAs. There's this wonderful link, Documents. These are all documents that I have uh, taken from emails or produced as a word processing document, and they are stored on Google's server, which means that they're available to me when I'm on a trip, and I can access the Internet anywhere, and easily bring up those documents that I have stored on Google's uh, server for free. And if you wish to work on a document together with someone else in a, a committee, for instance, you bring up the document, go over here to share, and then you can email this document as an attachment, or you can work on this document with another person. Um, just give them the, the URL, uh, and they can work on it together and uh, and then save it uh, right there on the server so that you know which copy you all are working on. In addition to uh, documents, there are some other features here under the More link. Uh, Google has photos. Here are some photo albums that I have saved. I'm able to give the photo URL to friends and they can visit these photos and download them for themselves if they wish. I can set those permissions to allow downloading or not allow downloading. I'm going to show you more under the more link. If you go to even more and over here to blogger, you can create your own blog. It's free. It's another wonderful 
Google service. Let me go back and show you that there is also uh, Google Maps down here. You can make a Google Map and put it on your own website to give people directions. Or you can simply go to Google Maps and find driving directions for yourself. Well, I could probably spend an hour or so showing you all the different features there are under your inbox links. That's just a, a small taste. And uh, I invite you to try Gmail for yourself. Well, now that you have the Gmail basics, if you would like to get a free Gmail account yourself, go to www.google.com slash accounts, which looks like this, and fill in the blanks. And in a minute or two, you'll have one of the fastest, handiest, and most flexible email services available. Please visit again at CyberCan, which is located at blog.teledavis.com to learn about easy-to-use and inexpensive web resources.